Now I have the power. Ow! Ow! Oh! Watch out, guys. I'm coming through. Now I have the power. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's Hey guys, uh, Ultimate Deadpool here. I know it's been a while uh, since my last video. Um, I've had to get I had to get my uh, phone screen fixed. It was uh, cracked and driving me crazy, and I didn't want to get it make, let it get worse. So anyway, we have a ton of new characters in front of us, including the official Legos Deadpool. This is the only version of Deadpool Lego has ever done so far. So stay stick around to the end of this video uh, because we're going to talk about him uh, towards the end. But we have a bunch of new characters. Um, some uh, are actually brand new to the channel. Um, others are, you know, rescans, um, you know, reviews, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, so, real quick, before we actually do get started, um, I've had the 2021 uh, new Ghost Rider set for about a month now. Um, and I haven't done a review on it yet. Um, so expect that tomorrow. Um, and then Deadpool versus the uh, the uh, Elemental Four, which is going to be changed to the Mighty Four because I hate the word Elemental Four. I don't know why. Uh, but they'll just be either called the Elementals or just the Mighty Four. Um, again, they were not intended to be a ripoff of the Fantastic Four, even though that's kind of what they ended up being. Uh, so anyway, we're going to explain a lot of stuff in this video, so make sure you watch to the end. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into things. Before we get uh, too much farther, uh, these four on the bottom uh, are going to be uh, different color variants of the, uh, the Mighty Four uh, or the Elementals or whatever you guys want to call them. Um, so literally it's going to be the exact same design with just a lighter tone. That's about it. On to the next thing. Alright, so first things first, we have a new Spider-Man. Um, which is probably the 100th version of Spider-Man I've ever released on YouTube in general um, as a custom figure um, and Lego if you want to get really technical. Uh, so I don't know where this torso design came from. Uh, it looks like a Spider-Man Noir hybrid-like thing. Uh, it's got some slight muscle detailing, but you can't really see it because of my printer. Um, same thing with the back; it's the same. It matches. The back and the front and back are the same design. Um, I don't know where uh, the idea came from with it uh, or what design that's off of. I'm sure it's an existing Spider-Man. I don't know. Uh, usually, you guys are actually really uh, good about figuring this out in the comment section. So, if any of you know which design this Spider-Man body is from, please let me know. Uh, the arms, I did do designs for the arms, but they were too stupid looking. Uh, so I scrapped those because um, the only thing I found was the torso design. I did I, the rest of it is custom done. Uh, so he has a scarlet spider head, um, and that's that's about it. Um, so yeah, if you guys could let me know which version of Spider-Man this is, please let me know down in the comments below, uh, and I will research it so that way this version of Spider-Man uh, can appear in a couple of videos here and there. On to the next character. Okay, so this is obviously just a uh, first gener or first outfit for choice for uh, Slime Ball. This is going to be the uh, costume that he has um, in the first Gravity Men movie because I can't use the um, the best design uh, until after he's teamed up with uh, Death and everybody else. Um, so for the, most of the first movie, he's going to wear this. Um, it's very simple. It's just a Spider-Man piece, uh, re recolored. Uh, green uh, and instead of a spider it's got the slime ball logo it's not the same one that I had here I did try to find that one but I couldn't find it uh, so anyway yeah that's about it so um, on to the next character I'm trying to get through this video as quick as I can because I know the main reason you guys are here are for the, is for the actual Legos Deadpool so let's go ahead and get going and sticking with Gravity Man side of things this is going to be a up this is an updated spacesuit um, that he's gonna wear um, when he put when he goes to space. Uh, underneath is just a basic space thing. Um, with a, I believe it's an Indiana Jones head. Um, I don't know what that is. 
Anyway, my, uh, we found this pretty cool backpack piece. I uh, thought it would look good. Uh, so this is going to be uh, the new variant of the spacesuit that uh, Gravity Man wears when he goes to space and gets his powers. All right, now we have some more newer characters. I realize I've had I've done a Predator before. Uh, this one's a little bit different. It's the same printing design. Uh, the only difference is, is the helmet mold, uh, the shoulder piece, and the cannon and thing. Those are all actual custom Lego uh, Predator pieces that I got off of a clear uh, translucent Predator. And the only reason I ever ordered that thing was simply so I could get the figure below it. Uh, so that way I can have invisible characters in videos uh, or cloaking technology or whatever. Uh, so that way I can actually animate and show that there is somebody there. It's just not, uh, you know, characters moving around. Plus it's a cheap way to show that, you know, somebody's getting beaten up while somebody else is invisible. And not trying to, you know, make them look like, oh, I got hit. Oh, I got hit again. It's, it's much easier to have something actually to animate there. On my end, it's going to be confusing to see, but it'll all make sense. So anyway, um, this is actually the same Predator body um, that I did. Um, I don't know if the yeah the hel the helmet is pretty jammed in there. For some reason, they don't weld they don't mold these things right. Uh, so once the head's in there, that's it. Uh, so again, this was all originally clear um, or transparent or whatever you want to call it. Um, so the shoulder cannon is actually pretty cool. Now this figure is actually going to go to my brother because uh, he's a huge fan of the Predator. Um, so one thing I will say is I do like the uh, paying homage to Alien vs. Predator uh, with that, this uh, Predator helmet being modeled after Scar, uh, the Predator, because he's got the Xenomorph blood acid thing on his head. Um, the legs could be a little I will say the leg printing could be a little bit better. Uh, or at least go up all the way to show up the fishnets, but I may end up just uh, redoing that at some point later anyway. So anyway, on to the next character. And in case you guys have forgotten, I'm doing a Friday the 13th fan film called Jason the Legend of Crystal Lake. Um, and there, these two designs are going to be used in that movie. Um, so... The base, basically, the whole thing of that, is, and I'll explain this in another video, uh, is you know it's um, oh shit, it's Tommy Jarvis's son goes to Crystal Lake, and then he has the same problem his dad had. Uh, so, you know, all in all, this this new design isn't bad. This is the one that I did beforehand. Uh, this is the one that's been appearing in a lot of videos. Um, so again, you know, if you look closely on this one, you can kind of see the heart back there, some bullet holes, the leg stuff, rib cage, uh, spine stuff, or, you know, rib cages in the back, uh, and then some bony forearms there. Uh, that's about it with this one. This new one, however, I am, I will say I'm not as impressed with it because, uh, I think I tried too hard. Um, the body is cool, I will say that. Um, you can definitely see more ribs uh, on this one and I tried to get an actual heart back there um, but it, the ribs cover it all up and it doesn't look as appealing and I could easily just take the rib cage out but ouch that would hurt both me and I'm sure the character's feelings if I did that uh, so I can't do it that way uh, another thing I don't like about this character is the face um, I did a unmasked version of the head before I put the hockey mask on, and that's that was much better uh, than this. Um, and to be fair, it's not a bad face. It's just I think the mask just kind of take takes away uh, from what, the coolness of the face. So for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, because obviously you wouldn't know because I just made this character this morning, uh, or just designed this this morning. Uh, on most Jasons that I use, the eyes of the hockey mask are blacked out. Uh, for some reason, I had the great idea of taking away the black um, and showing off the eye underneath it. Um, and then I took out a big portion of the bottom part so you can see a mouth. Um, with, and again, it'll look mu it looks much better without the mask, uh, but just bear with me on it. Um, and then the, the piece up here that's not a gigantic eyeball... Um, Jason ha um, 
is missing an eye because if you guys know uh, this from part uh, four, Jason gets a machete to the side of the face on his right side, uh, or left side, left side, and it completely kills his left eye. Um, so, in the you know, later films, he does not have an eye on that spot. Uh, also, there's a small crack on his skull up here. Yes, now that's actually supposed to be bone showing through the hockey mask. Uh, it doesn't look like it. I apologize that there's only so much you can do with Lego uh, when it comes to designing stuff like that. Uh, but there is a crack up here uh, to represent the axe mark that he got uh, from Friday the 13th Part 3. So, um, that's about it. I mean, he just he's got a lot of dirt and grime and blood all over him. Uh, it's not as detailed as the other one uh, in terms of, you know, multiple parts. Uh, but the, the body is definitely more detailed on this one than it is on this. Um, and the face is also more detailed on this. Uh, but it also takes away the seriousness of Jason. So at some point I will redo the face. Um, but till then, this is what it's going to look like. I will still use this particular Jason for a ton of videos just because it's much easier. I spent way too much time on this character. On to the next one. All right, now for the actual new characters. Um, I realized Predator was still kind of an older character, but this is an actual new character never done on this channel or the, any channel that I've done so far. Uh, this is obviously Bebop. Uh, oh shit, no, never mind. It's uh, Rocksteady. I keep, I always get those two mixed up. This is Rocksteady from the Ninja Turtles. Uh, this is the design from the 80s version because that's the only version that I actually care that. You know, Rocksteady's in. Um, I did not like him in the 2012's uh, version of the Ninja Turtles, and I did not care for him uh, in the Michael Bay film. Um, so, uh, and he was not in the 2003 show. Uh, there was a lot of references to him, uh, but he was not an actual set character in the 2003 show, which is fine. Uh, but I do like him as a character because he's just hysterical because he's so stupid. Um, so I do like the character, and that's why we desi I designed this character. Um, now, disclaimer, I didn't actually design the, uh, torso design, um, that I'd be lying if I said I did. Um, same thing with the legs, it's just the same military grade, you know, military stuff that I did for the Cancelled Hulk movie that I still haven't even attempted to do yet. Um... The rhino head, I don't know what that's from. I think it's from some kind of Chima thing. I don't know what the hell it is. Uh, it had a whole bunch of pink dots on it, which I know uh, Rocksteady does not have. Uh, and come to find out that it's actually a female rhino's head. Uh, sorry, Rocksteady. I didn't mean to do that. But underneath is just another uh, version of the helmet. Uh, just so, simply so I could get the eyes uh, correct. Uh, or the correct size and the correct space. Um, on the uh, on the actual helmet, um, Rocksteady doesn't have too many features. Um, he just has a really a really I will say this: whoever designed the torso design on this did an excellent job. This seriously looks exactly like what Rocksteady looked like uh, in the uh, in the 1980s uh, Ninja Turtle show. Um, so props go to whoever made that. Um, this looks awesome. Uh, I did screw up the horn because um, it also had pink stuff on it. So right now it's just uh, I put some silver sharpie over it. At some point I'll paint it white um, just so it matches an actual rhinoceros. Uh, that's basically it. He, I gave him two guns because he does use we uh, guns um, in the original cartoon show, um, and that's about it. So on to the next character. All right, so now we've got Skeletor from uh, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Uh, so some of you younger viewers uh, may not know what Masters of the Universe is or who this character is. Long story short, a guy can use a sword. You know, uses a sword. He says, "I have the power." He turns into a big muscle-bound dude and he fights this guy um, on a foreign planet. And he has a whole bunch of other people that are called the Masters of the Universe. Blah 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 blah, etc. 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 Skeletor was one of my favorite villains growing up as a kid, even though I didn't really watch Masters of the Universe that much as a child. Um, but I have started watching it. Uh, uh, the new, the newest show, the 2002 show, um, and I like it. It's not bad. So, and Skeletor is just awesome. 
does. He's just hysterical uh, with the way he sounds and his laugh and everything else. So anyway, if you have not watched it, uh, all the videos or all the episodes are free to watch on YouTube. Uh, just type in, you know, Mass in the Universe and then whatever uh, series you want to watch. There's like 64 episodes for the first season of the original, 65 episodes for the ori original second season, and then like, uh, I think it's like 42 actual episodes for season one and season two uh, of the uh, 2002 show. So... Skeletor was one of my favorite characters I've ever designed. Um, and to be fair, I only designed the face. I did not ex I did not design the body. So this design on the body uh, and crotch piece, that's all 100% somebody else's design. Um, I did not do that. The only thing I did was I found a head uh, helmet and I painted that. This was actually originally black. Uh, and it actually, on camera especially, it does match uh, his, uh, his clothes. Well, clothes uh, rather well. <laughs> I realize Skeletor or any of the Masters of the Universe don't exactly wear clothes, especially he man um, So if you take the helmet off, he does have an alternative face, which is actually a first. Um, now that I think about it, I've never done a minifigure that has had a reversible face with the exception of Nightwing, only because it was there. So the 2006 Nightwing is the only other character I've ever made that has a reversible face, unless it's got a pre print uh, if it's a pre printed face. Uh, for instance, um, you know, one of the uh, shit. Uh, give me a second, technical errors. For instance, the uh, Elemental Four characters they all have um, actual Lego printed faces, they don't have custom printed faces, uh, so therefore they do have double sided faces. But as far as printing wise goes, Skeletor and Nightwing are the only two characters that have uh, double-sided heads um, with hair pieces. Now, uh, yeah, to be fair, Jason does have his uh, headpiece that wraps all the way around, but that's just so that way it doesn't look stupid and having a strap that goes partially the way down, and then the other half is just kind of there. So Skeletor has two different faces, like I said. One has the red glowing parts of his eyes, which doesn't really show up in the uh, 80s version. It does appear quite a bit in the 2002s version. Uh, and then he's got his standard uh, skeleton-like face. Um, I actually modeled this after the official uh, Skeletor toy uh, that was released in the 80s. No, I don't have one. I just found it on the computer and designed it through that. So this is the official Legos uh, skeleton design. Um, and then I recolored it so that way it looked exactly like the toy from the 80s. Uh, and it looks pretty damn good. So, uh, that's Skeletor. So, Skeletor will appear in a couple of videos. Uh, he'll be mostly uh, on, like, random videos. He's not going to appear in anything major. And before anybody points it out, yes, I know his hands are not the right color. Um, I do have ordered, uh, put on, I've already ordered the right color hands. Uh, they should be here about the 17th or so, um, so I already know that, and for all of you perverts, uh, out there, uh, no, Skeletor is not naked, he does have a different color crotch piece, um, and he just happens to have the, uh, armor plate, or whatever you want to call it, uh, that covers that up, so no, he is not having the same color groin piece as the rest of the body, so anyway, that's enough for Skeletor, let's go on to the, uh, other stuff. Alright, I'm going to go through these characters as fast as possible. This guy is going to appear on Gravity Man. I don't know what his name is going to be. The face is off of uh, Ultimate Spider-Man's Dr. Octopus. I don't know where those are from, and I don't know where the legs are from. That's about it. Uh, the Scarecrow, I'm pretty sure it's from one of the new Lego Fairy Tale sets. Um, I was able to find the head and jacket from uh, the Bricks and Minifigs Build-A-Figures set. Uh, otherwise, the hat is a Freddy Krueger's Fedora. I don't know where the pants are from. Uh, and there, I, this Batman came with the Batmobile that I got, uh, that I actually used to have as a kid, but my brother accidentally broke it and I had to fix it, and that's, uh, basically what we're getting into now. So, the only, this is actually the only Batman that's got this type of, uh, belt printing. Uh, and an all gray Batman. Usually some of them will have, uh, black hands or dual molded legs. Uh, this one don't, doesn't have that. It has gray hands and gray legs. Uh, and a unique belt printing that's only unique to this Batman and nothing else. 
Uh, he does have a paper cloth cape, which I don't like. And he's got the old school Batman head, which I do like. That's about it. On to the actual Batmobile. Okay, so on the right is the official Legos. Uh, Riddler Chase Batmobile. The one on the left is the one that I had that my brother did take apart. He didn't do it on purpose. He accidentally did break it. Uh, it orig this originally looked like this, um, but I couldn't find the instruction manual to this, so I just fixed it the way I, the best I possibly could. Uh, this is what it's looked like ever since. Um, I found this. It was at a nice price. I couldn't help it. I went ahead and did this, uh, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, it has the same missile features just like this one. So the only difference is this is when you have to take the cockpit all the way off uh, like this versus this one. The entire cockpit opens up just like that. So that's basically the only difference between the two. The only, same, the only things that are very different are the front ends and the back ends and then the side stuff. So basically the entire top. The rest of the car is the same. On to the moment you guys have all been waiting for. Okay, no bullshit. This is the official Legos version of Deadpool. Uh, they did have uh, three of them at the Bricks and Minifig store, um, but they were like $30 a piece. Otherwise, I would have gotten two just so I could use one for videos and one for um, display purposes. Uh, at some point, if they do have more, I will get another one um, at, at some point in the future. Uh, but this character is not going to appear in any videos whatsoever because of what it is. This is the only version of Deadpool that LEGO has ever officially done. Uh, and I cannot stress that enough. Uh, this is actually a really good shape for how old it is. Uh, you know, the swords, the sword slot's a little loose. Um, but you know what? That's just, what ha that's just how they were made back then. And they still hold the... There. Yeah. They still are that way today. Uh, all in all, the printing is actually pretty good. You know, normally I would pick on a character for not having the right details. Um, you know, because Wolverine had no arm printing or anything like that, even though he's, you know, Wolverine. Um, but Deadpool, this, this is an iconic character uh, in the comic books. And this is an iconic minifigure because this version of Deadpool appeared in De uh, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, the first video game, which is still my favorite Lego Marvel Super Heroes style game ever. Um, and it's appeared in uh, a couple of other things uh, worldwide and everything else and blah, 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 blah. Uh, so this is a very unique character, very, very unique, uh, original design. Um, so I do like the, uh, the light printing. Uh, the light printing looks really good. Um, I've actually done knockoffs of this before, um, but this is the official one. Um, so he does have back printing, um, which I did not know that. I thought it was just uh, plain backside, uh, but no, he actually does have back printing, um, which is a very rare occasion uh, for a minifigure like this that uh, always has a backpack piece on. A lot of times they won't put... Uh, any printing on them uh, because you know they're always wearing a backpack and they're always wearing a cape. Um, it was uh, several years before Batman got a back print, and Darth Vader still hasn't gotten a back print. So, um, all in all, I think I would give this character a solid 10 out of 10 just because of how good this shape, the shape of this is. This, I think they released the, uh, oh shit, I don't even remember when they released the, uh, Deadpool Copter set. Uh, somebody in the comments let me know what year that was. I want to say it was, like, maybe 2010, 2011 or so. So, either way, this is a really old figure, and the fact that it's in perfect working order, there is not a crack on here. There, usually, if a character is that old, They'll have cracks on the side of the le uh, body. The legs will be cracked on the bot. The legs will get cracked on the bottom, and a lot of times the head joints are really, really loose. Uh, and so, and the the arms will be cracked as well. Nothing on this character is broken. It's like they took it out of the box, transported it in the future, and I got the character from the past. If that makes any sense whatsoever. So, 
that is why I'm giving this minifigure a 10 out of 10 solid. Because there is not one thing wrong with this character, and that is why it is going in this. So this figure right here is going to go in the best, uh, my personal best of best uh, case. So obviously there's a couple of characters in there already. Uh, the custom Freddy Krueger that I designed. Uh, Stingray with the ar uh, arms up. Uh, Part 2 Jason. The X -Men, uh, Weapon X Deadpool. Gravity Man the redesign. Uh, and obviously Metalhead. So in this case is the best of the best um, that I've got for now. Um, so obviously I'll get more of these at some point. Uh, but anyway, that's about that concludes the video. If you guys liked it, please, um, I guess you could say thumbs up, uh, hit the like button, subscribe and share, but I'm not going to force you guys to do that like other YouTubers do. So anyway, hope you guys had a good day. Uh, stay healthy. Trying to think of other good stuff to say. Anyway, I'll see you guys all later. Bye.